people. It is Saturday, August the 5th. The time is 10.30 p.m. It's currently 20 degrees Celsius. And I'm on the corner of Carlton and Young. This college just across the way. And this weekend in the city is the Caribbean Carnival, formerly called Carabana. So the downtown on the Saturday night of Carabana weekend is often crowded with all kinds of people who have descended on Young Street after the big parade that ran earlier today along Lakeshore Boulevard. And it's always a fun scene to come down to Young Street on Carabana weekend. There's usually big crowds of people, tons of tourists from out of town. Tens of thousands of Americans usually make the trip to Toronto just for this. So I thought I'd just take a walk around downtown, of course, checking out Young Street and Young Dundas Square, and maybe a few other spots, such as Nathan Phillips Square, just to check out some of the action. I usually try to do a video of this every year. I first did it five years ago when my channel was practically brand new. And that video has turned out to be one of my more popular videos in terms of its view count in that time. several blocks north of Young and Dundas. And it's ideal walking weather this evening. There's very little humidity. And no chance of rain as far as I know. Park. I think a lot of people also go out of town on this weekend, a lot of locals go up to the cottage. It is a long weekend in Ontario. Monday is considered a civic holiday. It's not a statutory holiday, but nevertheless, a lot of people do have Monday off. Mm, we're at Young and Gerard. Funny to hear that being said with such a strong English accent. 
Are we there yet? And we're just walking past Tayon Young. I always mention this place every time I walk past. My favorite place to get pad thai. The Kanji Queen. I went there once with Megan. It was pretty good. It's always fun trying to walk around a wobbly dude who's obviously a bit tipsy, sort of weaving and bobbing along the sidewalk. <laughs> it's like, can I get past you without a collision? <laughs> Here's where the crowds start to thicken up. Past the warehouse. It's always a scene there. And the World Food Market, which to me is just a copyright music zone that I tend to avoid at all costs. I think one time there was no music playing and I was actually able to go in and walk around and check it out. But that only happened once. And I don't think it'll happen again. That was just pure luck. But I will keep on talking as I make my way south towards Young and Dundas. Like I was off. But Young and Dundas now might be a bit quieter in terms of music because the city is trying to enforce or restrict amplified music at the intersection, which was always an ongoing issue. his big hurry. Did he see someone he doesn't like? <laughs> Jumped out of his car to chase him down? <laughs> I've known stuff like that to happen before. <laughs> So it's definitely busy, but I have definitely seen it busier than this. Even on a non caravana weekend in the summer. But you'll notice a lack of preachers with loud amplified preaching. They're still permitted to preach, of course. They're just not supposed to use amplification any longer. Maybe they figure it's not worth it if they can't annoy as many people over as large a distance as possible. I've never seen anyone successfully do this. 
You have to hang for 100 seconds. And if you can do that, you win $100. Of course, you have to pay $10 to even try. Let's see how long this guy lasts. And buskers are still permitted here in Young Dundas Square. You just need to have a proper busking license, which has always been the case, so that's nothing new. People just skirted that rule for a long time, I suppose. This guy looks determined. Will I catch the very first time I've ever seen this happen? Oh, no. And it stands. One time I thought I heard someone win, but I didn't see it happen with my own eyes. I just heard a lot of people cheering and clapping. So I just assumed that they won. People are eager to line up to throw away ten dollars. Cross over to the other side. There's often a big police presence here at Young and Dundas during Caravana Weekend, but I don't see any right now. There's usually clusters of three or four cops standing at various intersections. And it's also a popular thing to cruise up and down Young Street during this August long weekend. And I see that's still happening. Octo Zone, the latest attraction to open up on downtown Young. I went in there and did a little walkthrough in a, another recent video. I'm 
thinking I'll walk down to Queen and then we'll take a look at Nathan Phillips Square. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> And then I'll probably weave down past Union Station and then back up Young Street again heading north just to see what's happening at that southern end of Young Street. Crossing Shooter. see some people still in costume from the parade today. I've seen a few before I began the video. Lots of loud music blasting from every other car or scooter in this case. <laughs> okay, dude, your scooter does not warrant such a sound system. <laughs> Nor does anyone appreciate having to listen to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just about at Queen Street. Oh, looks like I'm being followed by a loud scooter person again. All right, I'm going to try and get across here without getting a copyright claim. This guy is stuck at the light. I'll go to the other side. <laughs> There he goes. Keep up the good work there, pal. The city of Toronto appreciates everything you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go back this way again. This is just avoid Cheesemeister and his scooter music. Let's swing past Nathan Phillips Square. Thank <laughs> you. 
the closet. There's Old City Hall. Sounds like something is going on at Nathan Phillips Square. I might not even be able to get right in the square if there's music playing. I'll tell you, music is like the bane of a walktuber's existence. And it's literally everywhere you go <laughs> if you're walking around downtown Toronto. There's an Ontario Northland bus. I'm going to be riding one of those in just a couple of days heading up to North Bay. Bay Street. There's traffic backed up all the way down the street. I think it's live music, but I might still have to avoid it. There's definitely a big crowd inside Nathan Phillips Square right now. Taste of India was taking place this weekend here at the square. I guess this is still going on, is my guess. There's some live music to go along with all the food stalls. There's multiple tents with various foods for the offering.
it wasn't for the music, I would definitely have walked through the square and got a closer look at everything. Lots of traffic on Queen Street. Make our way over to University Avenue and then I'll walk south down to Front Street. Traffic chaos all over the place right now. music for me to try and drown out. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather hear my soothing voice in any case? I think a lot of people have no idea where they're going or what they're doing. They're just sort of driving aimlessly around. Unfamiliar with the downtown streets because most of these people downtown right now are visitors. All right, now south along University. Street. Visitors heading back to their hotel. As I mentioned, tens of thousands of people come into Toronto just for Carabana weekend. And many of them come from New York State, obviously, and New York City. It's probably one of the largest contingents of people who come to Toronto for this weekend. And you'll see very many cars with New York license plates. Here's 
Adelaide Street. they notice I'm crossing the intersection here as I rightfully should be with the walk signal We're just walking along the western edge of the financial district. <laughs> they were crossing against the light, those pedestrians, so they rightfully got honked at. Here's King Street. Are here along this stretch. I think it'll get busy again once we hit Front Street and start walking past Union Station and Royal York Hotel. Man, that new office building looks kind of evil at night. Here's Wellington Street. I think that loud music is coming from the INS store across the street. That's unexpected. <laughs> Not from Beer Town next door.
Union Station glowing off in the distance there. And I hear a rush. I hear YYZ. <laughs> Or is that, no, is that Red Barchetta? <laughs> is that a recording or is that live? <laughs> I think it is a recording. Why? I mean, I love Rush, but why? <laughs> why would there be a recording of a popular Rush song playing here? <laughs> I mean, I like to support Rush and as much as possible, but let's not be ridiculous here. Or was that, that was YYZ. Waiting for a chance to get across the street here. So just heading east along Front Street. Back to Young Street, and we'll head north along the part that I didn't cover already. Let's 
Yeah, DC Square. Looking north up Bay Street. Just about at Young. I think the last time I walked along Young Street at night, south of Dundas Square, I only went as far south as, as Adelaide Street. So I haven't actually covered this stretch in quite a while for a nighttime Young Street walk. Last look at the CN Tower. Back at Wellington again. So now we'll see it get progressively busier the further north we head. Once we get past this financial district section, it'll liven up quite a bit.
that's a very unsafe thing they have there for pedestrians to walk along. Especially at night. Guy's running for the streetcar, and he made it. Maybe I'll cross to the other side so I don't walk along the same part of Young Street or the same side that I already walked down earlier. was loud, whatever that was. Just a mystery noise.
And we're almost back at Queen Street again. And now we'll head back up the other side of Young, back up to Young and Dundas again. We'll see if it's gotten busier or quieter since we were there earlier. It's a smart car with that old fashioned horn. Traffic is certainly not as busy as it was earlier. Place is still busy. Oh, here we have the the low riders, or I'm not sure what you call those cars with the giant tires. So I guess the cruising is still going on. In any case.
as busy as before. <laughs> Lots of music to contend with though, as usual. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Try not to hang out around here too long. Another guy is about to lose 10 bucks. Just throwing away their hard earned money. Well, I did a full walk around an hour through downtown on Saturday night during Caravana weekend. I won't go back up to College Street where I began, but Young and Dundas is a traditional ending point for many of my videos, so I might as well keep with tradition on this walk as well. So I hope you enjoyed the downtown walk around here on a very busy Saturday night during one of Toronto's biggest long weekends of the year for tourism I think it's second only to Pride weekend the main weekend of the Pride Parade in terms of visitors and amount of revenue generated for the city so leave a comment down below let me know if you enjoyed the walk and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also make sure you hit the notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And there's also a super thanks button right down below, if that's how you'd like to support the channel. And you can find me on Instagram under kcontinuum. So thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue. <laughs>